Gospel for Unreached. Our mission is to spread the good news to the whole world through the internet. Jesus commissioned his disciples to go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Mark 16, 15. Come, let us join our hands and hearts to reach the lost and tell them the love of Jesus. Therefore go and make disciples to all nations. Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This is the unchanging commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. These are the last days of harvest, and we do not know when our Lord will return. Life-changing sermons in several languages, CD, DVD, MP3, and Bible tracts are available free of cost. And if you would like to learn more and get involved with our ministry or sponsor a missionary or orphan, please feel free to contact us by email at gospelunreached at yahoo.com or call us at 310-408-2823. Your comments and suggestions are very valuable to our ministry. We enjoy hearing from our visitors. Thanks for visiting and please come back again soon. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.
has given us again one more time to come to this Santa Maria Third Street Promenade to preach the love of God. Hallelujah! Jesus loves you. God the Almighty showed his love to you by sending his only begotten son Jesus Christ into this world to show the way to show his love to deliver you from the power of darkness hallelujah and give you the eternal life John 3 16 we all know that scripture one of my favorite scripture in the Bible John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave that he gave that he gave what did he give he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son God's love didn't merely limited to the written statements. God's love didn't merely limited to the verbal statements. But God's love he extended to an action of doing something to save you from the danger of eternal hell. From the danger of the spirit of darkness. From the danger of the power of darkness. From the danger of the, the, the power of the kingdom of darkness. He sent his only begotten son into this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The scripture says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten and son that whoever remember underline remember to underline that word whoever whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life that is the love of God hallelujah God's love manifested through Jesus Christ he sent his only begotten son into this world and showed his love the scriptures goes on to declare but God demonstrate his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us Jesus didn't come to this earth to save a bunch of good people Jesus didn't come to save a bunch of perfect people Jesus didn't come to this earth to save a bunch of righteous people Jesus the Almighty God came to this earth to save the imperfect people Jesus came to this earth to save the, 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 the weak people Jesus came to this earth to save the sinners that is the love of God but God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us that is the love of God the scriptures goes on to declare The scripture goes on to declare what profit is to a, what profit is it to a man if he gain the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? You know, Jesus came to this earth to redeem your soul. To give you the eternal life. That is the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The scripture says, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him for a soul, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Jesus, the son of the living God, who came from heaven, he just uh, did sing that song, he came from heaven. He is the almighty God, 
the creator of the universe became a man to show the way. Hallelujah! You know, Leonardo da Vinci, they, 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 were, they were very famous artists. Their art, artworks are very famous and historic. They try to portray the picture of Jesus, the beauty of Jesus. But you know something? The human power is incapable to portray the real beauty and the power of Jesus. You know, Apostle John, if you go to the scriptures, you can see Apostle John saw Jesus in a vision. And he, he narrated it in the book of Revelation. Apostle John says, Apostle, Apostle John saw Jesus standing in the midst of seven golden lampstands. In his right hand he held the seven stars, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash, even the death of the cross. Therefore God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But the next verse says, being justified freely by His grace. Amen. You are justified freely Amen. by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. From God set forth as a propitiation by His blood through faith to demonstrate His righteousness because in His forbearance He had passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. If you have faith in Jesus, Jesus himself will become your just and the justifier. When you accept Jesus, when you confess Jesus, when you receive Jesus, when you welcome Jesus in your life, he himself become your righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! He forgive your sins. Yes. He wash away your sins Amen. with His blood. Amen. Hallelujah! Thank you know the scripture says, all our righteousness before God is just like a filthy rag. Our righteous God is holy. Our righteousness cannot please God. It is impossible. Our righteousness cannot. It is impossible to please God with our own self-righteousness, our own work. You know, God is holy. His eyes are pure. When God is looking through His pure eyes, we all are in imperfect. We all are sinners. That is why the scripture says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But thank God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, we are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. When you accept Jesus, when you ask Jesus to forgive your sins, to wash away your sins with His blood, He will wash you with His blood. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. What can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So Precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can makes me whole? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing 
but the blood of Jesus. God sending His only begotten Son into this world to become propitiation for our sins. He shed His blood to wash away our sins. And His body was broken to heal your body. Hallelujah! Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. The scriptures says, Hallelujah! Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Amen. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ is available today, available right now, to wash away your sins. Yes. Hallelujah! Amen. If you ask Jesus Amen. to forgive your sins right now, here, his presence is here right now. He will forgive your sins and his blood is available to wash away your sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the scripture says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. With the heart, one believes unto righteousness and mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. If you confess the name of Jesus, if you believe that Jesus Christ has died in your place, He took your sin in your place because the wages of sin is death. Hallelujah! You know,